So the first thing I need to do is vacuum this out. I spilled cat litter in here a while back and it went down between the seats. So I'm going to move the battery and inverter. Just keep it loose for now for a little bit so I can lift this seat up and vacuum everywhere. So I thought about removing this part of the seat and having that big, it's 10 inches deep and I could still fit the cot on that side. The legs would just barely hang over so that it shouldn't interfere. But it's not, this isn't long enough, the wires, to get in here anyway. So I could use it for storage, but then I decided it just wasn't worth it. It made it kind of awkward. And I didn't really need it. I didn't want to mess with this too much. I already, this came out. This came out of here. Hope I can just stick it back in without, and it'll still work. Because I've moved this too many times. This vacuum doesn't do too good a job. That was clean litter, by the way, I should mention. Right there, Critter threw up when I moved her from the apartment. <laughs> Can't get that up. I really need to have this detailed, but what I'm going to do is finish vacuuming it. And I'm going to put a carpet down. I'm going to get some... I think I'm going to put some extra foam in these little places, because those hurt to kneel on. And then I'm going to put like a carpet pad down, a nice thick one, and then I just cut a carpet to fit. But I'll have to cut it, I'll have to stop it here, I think. Because of this battery, I can't really maneuver it to get it under it. Because the, the cables are going to right there in the way. So I thought, I know you shouldn't probably have carpet because it's harder to clean. But I decided because, you know, I spent a lot of times in the van just going on your hands and knees. That carpet is going to be much more comfortable. But those things really hurt to kneel on. So I want to see if I can figure out some way to pad those a little bit extra. Maybe I could move this rug, move the rugs to cover them. Because they're made to go around it, but maybe I could just slide them so they cover it. Yeah, that should probably work. I could turn that front one around. So that worked. The bed's going to be here, so that doesn't matter. So I just kind of change the rugs around to cover up the hard spots. So now I'll just put a pad in the carpet. Heading to Home Depot. So I got this pad. It's maybe a quarter inch thick at Lowe's. It was $30. There's a scrap over there. So I don't remember where I put my battery. So I just cut out a big area so I can bolt the battery right to the floor. And I took out, that rug was coming up the edge here. I didn't like it, so I said I just put an extra piece of the scrap padding. So this feels really good. That's what it looks like. I'm not sure if I want it any under the cot or not it makes it hard to slide things possibly so but you can always cut more off so I'm gonna start with this so this is the rug I got it's kind of an indoor outdoor carpet I got dirt colored so it won't show too much it's, it feels pretty soft it's not real thick but it should be durable so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out this pad and use it as a template for cutting the rug. So there's the semi-finished product. Now this little extra here, I'm gonna leave that for now until I get it all set up because it's gonna move around a little bit and then when I get it set up the way I want it I'll trim the extras around the edge So the battery's going to go somewhere around there. It's not bolted down right now. I have to get the cot in here and see where it goes. Alright, now I can start moving some stuff in.